They say these are great for your skin. The more the better, right? <laughs> Welcome back. I'm so glad you could make it. And today is going to be another fun and exciting episode. I am talking about skin and more in particular, cystic acne, that really painful, crucial acne where you just can't get it under control. So if you've been following me on social media, in particular YouTube, you have probably noticed that I have been struggling with cystic acne for as long as I can remember since I got married. But I have got it under control and I have figured out what works for me best probably in the past six months up to today. So I wanted to share with you guys how I did that. So a quick history on my skin. My skin type has always been a normal skin type. I was very blessed with that. But you know, I would have the occasional breakout here and there, especially around the hormonal time of the month. And then it would always go away. But the worst time I think where it hit me and I got really bad and I couldn't control it was right after I got married and I moved from New York to Florida. So I struggled with cystic acne for over two years when I got married to Andre and it was really embarrassing, it was really painful, and I really could not figure out what was happening to my body because it never happened to me that way before. If you've ever had cystic acne, it's really painful, it's really deep, really big because it gets really bumpy all over your skin. And where I had the most of it was around my mouth, chin, and jaw area. It was, it was really bad. So basically, from the beginning, when I started getting it really bad, I decided I wanted to do it the healthy way and stay away from all the drugs, all the antibiotics, the topical creams, because I really wanted to figure out the core issue. Before I jump into my healthy treatments that I have figured out, I kind of want to talk about the root causes from where my cystic acne came from. So number one was the environment. Because I lived in New York, I moved to Florida, and it's totally different environment here. You have more pollen, you have more humidity, and it's really moist in the air compared to New York. Next was my diet. I wasn't as, you know, strict on what I was eating when we just got married. It was more fun, relaxed, you're out of the house, you're living by yourself. And next was the stress levels and the hormone imbalance in my body. It was just, you know, so much at once. I've never moved from my house before, and it was just kind of all over the place. So that definitely took a toll on my skin. In my opinion, the biggest thing that really affected my skin was the unnecessary stress and pressure that came with that newlywed married life. You need to have a career that you need to work like 80 hours a week. Next, you need to have a couple of children while having a career. And then you need to buy a house while having children and a career. And then on top of all that, you need to look good, <laughs> you know? So it's just kind of, I'm obviously kidding, but it was just kind of a lot of pressure and stress while I'm at school full time, a lot of stuff happening at once and it was just kind of affecting me. All my hormones were going all over the place and it just kind of sucked. So this is where Andre and I both really got down to the issues and we really changed our lifestyle and we just really wanted to figure out what was causing all of this. There are three categories of what we changed. First of all, we changed our nutrition and diet. We started taking a lot more supplements and we started doing a lot of more cleanses and detoxes. So the first lifestyle change that I mentioned was nutrition and diet. We started eating healthier and more in particular, we switched over to USDA organic, natural, you know, try to get rid of all the pesticides, GMOs, basically eat clean and healthy as possible. A peach a day keeps your doctor away or in my case, the acne away. Mm. Mm. So juicy. <laughs> so the three biggest things that we have tried to cut out as much as possible out of our diet are dairy, sugars, and processed foods. These three are one of the biggest indicators and factors that cause inflammatory diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, basically any type of skin issue and internal issue that are inflammatory. And Basically, that is because you have some type of imbalance and stressed imbalance in your digestive tract that results with lack of immune system and just basically it just goes all over whack. So the first supplement I want to share with you guys is the one that probably helped me the most regarding my skin is bacteria or some people like to call it probiotics. It's basically bacteria that you need within your digestive tract. So there are two major types of probiotics. There is lactic and then there is soil based. You're probably thinking like, what is she talking about? Soil, dirt, ew, like who, what is wrong with her? But remember when you were a kid or maybe your kid has eaten dirt 
it's okay. It's so it's good. Give them like a spatula. Let them keep eating that dirt. I'm just kidding. Soil-based probiotics are great for your digestive tract. After trying various types of probiotics, we found a winner, and this is a Prescript Assist gastrointestinal support. And this has 29 different strains of beneficial microflora. This stuff is wonderful, even though it is probably one of the most expensive ones on the market. It is definitely quality versus quantity in this case. So this is where research has been done and they suggest that the prebiotics might be even more beneficial than probiotics because the prebiotics is basically food for that good bacteria that is fighting for your health. Basically the good guys, right? So what we like to use is this prebiogen prebiotic supplement and this is the nutritionist Chris Kreser. So what I do is I take them both together two to three times a week depending on how I feel. So first I start with the prebiotic. There's a little tiny teaspoon inside already in here. This doesn't have a bad taste at all. It kind of has a sweet taste to it. And I just like to put it either in my smoothie every morning or just a cup of water. And then after I finish drinking my prebiotic, I go with my probiotic and just take one capsule a day. And last but not least, let's not forget our vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients. And this is the brand that I take. This is the Double x by Neutralite. And this is also one of the most highly rated vitamins out there on the market. Definitely quality versus quantity. And these are just really great. They have this brand, Neutralite, definitely has a lot of respect for their vitamins. They're all farms are grown organically, natural way, and they make sure that their veggies and fruits are grown until they're ripe and then they take them and process them into vitamins. And what I have to say is this is really potent. You definitely don't want to eat these or take these on an empty stomach because they're so concentrated. Make sure you have something in your tummy in the morning and we definitely have experienced puking our guts out because we took these on an empty stomach. And I have saved the best for last, you guys. It is the cheapest. It is probably the most dramatic that has actually changed my skin right away that I noticed. And did I mention cheapest? I did mention cheapest. It is diatomaceous earth food grade. So basically what diatomaceous earth is, is really fine, tiny crystals that is silica based soil found in fresh water. So what it does is it goes into your system and it basically cleanses you out. When I started taking diatomaceous earth, I honestly started noticing a difference in my skin within one week. I'm not even exaggerating. It was so drastic. My scars that I had from my previous acne experiences, they started diminishing and just getting blurred out. My bump started disappearing on my forehead and my skin just looked overall so much better. People would ask if I'm wearing makeup and I wasn't. It was so awesome. And obviously my hair improved, my nails improved. And overall, I had a greater boost of energy and I felt less bloated. And it's just this stuff. I cannot say enough good stuff about it. There's so many great benefits. And the best part is it's so cheap and so budget friendly. So how I take this is I take one heaping tablespoon with one glass of water. I mix it in together. Because I've been taking it for so long, I already moved up to the one tablespoon instead of one teaspoon. And because this is so concentrated, you want to keep drinking water throughout the day. Keep yourself hydrated because you want to flush this out of your system to detoxify you. So all of the products and elements that I have just mentioned is what has worked and is working for me personally. We all have different bodies, so do your own research, figure yourself out. That's what I had to do, trial and error. We finally found the perfect formula that has works for both of us in our lifestyle. So do your own research, do a lot of it. Ask your doctor, ask your nutritionist, whoever it may be, but do your own research. I can't stress that enough before buying and trying anything. So this was my story on how I kind of cured or kept my cystic acne at bay and figured out the root of the issue going the healthy route. I'm sure a lot of you have other tips and tricks and products that you have used or still using. Leave it in the comment section down below because I know other readers love to read it and I want to see what helped you as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and spending time with me. I hope you liked it, got something out of it. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon. Love you all. Bye.